Sent your biopsy reports and your MRI images to your Swiss team. Once your trial's done, you have a follow-up CT scan, tumor marker in about three months. Then in about six months, you'll have a PET scan just to monitor the effectiveness of your treatment. When do I lose the portable latrine? Yeah, the colostomy can't be reversed for probably about another year. I'm sorry about that. You're nothing to apologize for. I mean, you saved my life. Now, the oncologist did that. You were there every step of the way, even though you had to run this place. <laughs> yeah, it turns out I'm not very good at multitasking. You can't let stuff like that get to you. If somebody throws you a curveball, you snatch it up and stuff it down their throat, then you get back in the race. It's not my job to keep. Chief of staff, that's just a title. I'm talking about life, and I... I speak as someone who almost lost his. Patty cake. You promised me one thing. You'll treat your little girl a whole lot better than I treated mine. Sir. You're a great father. And I'm sorry for giving you a hard time about that before. Nothing I didn't deserve. Robin loves you. And I promise that I will look at my daughter the same way that you look at yours. Thank you. Son. Leave poor Charles. You just got here. I know. If Stone's mother gets awarded full custody, I don't know what I would do. It's my entire life. I know. Look, I just need to be there to fight for him. Yeah. But what about when it's all settled? Will you come back then? I would love to. You know that. But I just can't think past tomorrow, really. Of course. Do you want me to check on some autism specialists in the area? I already started a list. Look, I just want you to know how much it means to me to have you back in my life. Me too. And I'm sorry if I caused some tension between you and Patrick. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, maybe you did just a little bit, but don't worry about it. It's good for him. A little jealousy keeps him on his toes. I'm gonna miss you. Then come back. Okay. Down to New York tonight. So I'll be at the consulate first thing in the morning to get up visas. All right, now. Visa applications, passports. Oh, my God. You are two years older than you said you are. Mind if I see your passport? Right, so then I'll be back in the evening to pick you up, and then we can catch the flight to Bern, okay? Uh, I don't want you missing the wedding. I mean, whenever that is. Robin's independent, you know. I mean, she understands that your health is more important. I don't want you doing this. It's the only way. Really, it's the quickest way, because we, we don't have time to wait for these papers to be processed. I mean, taking care of me. I want to be that man that you fell in love with. Not this invalid. I don't know about you, Robert, but I was serious before about what we said. I always did think that we would find our way back to each other. I always thought that. Bucket of my ties. Yeah. I'm not willing to, to wait anymore. And I can't risk not getting to that day. Oh, I do love you. You do? I love you.
Uh, here's a list of all the open uh, staff positions. Spreadsheet I created for patient flow. Uh, human resource cases that are still under review, and these are reports that need to be filed before the next board meeting. Okay, thanks. Uh, is that it? I think uh, I'm not missing anything, am I? Well, if you are, I know exactly where to find you. Exam room two. There's a 30-year-old male complaining of severe migraines. Yes. Uh, Dr. Drake. Yeah. For what it's worth, I just wanted you to know I think the board made a big mistake. You were a fair boss and a loyal friend. The two very rarely walk hand in hand. Get back to work. 